Do you feel like you have to fight to have your dreams on you? Does it feel like a constant battle, a struggle, and you have to constantly be striving to not be flawed? Are you afraid that if you dare to pause to catch your breath, even for a moment, it's all going to go horribly wrong? Someone's going to stick the boot in. And you may ask yourself, is this really the most compassionate way? So in this video I'm going to be explaining why you don't have to fight for your union, in fact you don't fight for your union at all. It doesn't have to be hard, you don't have to struggle and even when the voice of ego comes up with thoughts of separation, you don't deal with it by attacking it, you deal with it by other means and at the end of the video I'm going to be talking about an absolutely essential component. Not only creates a landing spot for your union to come in and stand on. But a lot of people who had their unions then fell out of union because they didn't have this one piece. So watch till the end of the video. In this probably the world's first Wing Chun themed twin flame video, I'm going to be explaining why you don't deal with ego and separation by attacking it. If you attack the ego, you're only feeding it. The ego wants you to be at war with it, with anything. You don't want to do that because war robs you of your peace and it's peace that union arises from. The appropriate way to deal with ego is to be present with it, with your loving presence and deliver love there. Because you are divine. Ego is not divine. But what happens to anything not divine in the presence of something that is divine? It dissolves. It's proof of your own divinity. You don't learn good Wing Chun from sparring, you learn it from doing drills. Sparring is like a maths test. It tells you how shit you are. Oh God, why are my punches not getting through? Why are his punches getting through? Well, why can't I stop? Likewise with your twin flight, you don't attain them by going out and getting them. You attain them by doing inner work. Even though it can be repetitive, it can even be a little bit boring at times, it, it can seem like it's going on for ages. And then you get a progress report from the divine. When your twin flame it shows up just as and when you need to give you the next pieces that you need for your journey. You get hit over the head with your upsets and you find out how well you're doing and you're given the next pieces. And you work through that too. Say you're at the start of the journey and at the start, the triggering, it can be at its most painful because we've been so numbed out. It may not be the most compassionate thing for you and your twin flame to be right in each other's faces while you're both doing the deep healing. But don't worry, nothing's gone wrong. It's actually when you really choose to be with the twin flame that the twin flame can sometimes vanish only showing up as and when is necessary because you've received everything you need for the journey. It's not exciting, just like this. If someone sees a Wing Chun class, they may think, what are they doing? Because they're expecting a load of glamorous Bruce Lee acrobatics. But these are the practices that work. The inner work works. The practices work. And I had a wonderful realization I was talking to someone who was at the start of their twin flame journey and they were experiencing some very uncomfortable, very painful stuff. And I advised them, obviously, to do the mirror exercise. It's the same thing that makes you feel better, the mirror exercise, that makes you feel better right at the beginning, that manifests your union and also enables you to keep your union when it comes in. So however much time you spend on the foundation, the more time you spend on it, the more worth it it's going to be. When you're building the foundation to the palace of your union, that's the beginner stage. When you're building the walls, that's the intermediate stage. And when you put in the fireplace and the wallpaper, that's the advanced stage. The wallpaper and fireplace won't last too long without a foundation. As a master builder, you can't say you don't do foundations anymore. Tedious though they are, the digging down in the mud and the sewage pipes, but never skip to the intermediate stage. Keep working on the foundation. You have the knowledge. Make sure you keep practicing. Master Ip Ching said you can't buy Kung Fu like a bowl of rice. It's the same with your twin flame union. You have to invest and also do the work. You can't win a bodybuilding competition by joining a gym and not training. You don't get better 
by reading the leaflet that comes with the medicine and not taking the medicine. You start with the basics and train the core muscle groups. Later you're given more to do in addition to the foundational stuff. You don't look at someone else doing some fancy exercise that looks really cool and try it before you're ready. Who knows best, the instructor or the beginner? Who's been through the mill? Champs are champions because of the first six months they've stuck to the foundational stuff rigidly. It takes discipline, it takes commitment. If your twin flame is having commitment issues, what are they showing you? It's safe to go all in with the work. Commit fully to yourself in this place. Claim yourself fully in this place. The results will show. Maybe you've been on this journey for a few years and still don't have a relationship to show for it. But you've got to go in, all in and change the core choices for separation. Just the core ones are enough. If your union has a very expansive energy and you have a very important life purpose with your twin flame in terms of world leadership, you may need to build a really big foundation and that takes a bit longer. But it will be so beyond worth it because the results will be incredible. Know that if it's taken a while for you, it's for a really good reason. So please know that it's a strong foundation that enables your union to land in the 3D. And if you would like to go a little bit more in depth into bringing your union from the 5D to the 3D, please watch this video here. Turning your spiritual relationship into a spiritual and physical relationship. And if your twin flame isn't too keen on the spiritual stuff, don't worry, just watch this video here. Bye.